a survival person. Let's catch a fish. You're on fire. <laughs> yes. Look at that crazy bait. Nice slab of meat. Big baits going out on a size 10 circle hook. Another 87. A beautiful spot we have found again 24 hours solo fishing mission let's see what we can find in this gutter over the next 24 hours we're gonna take our time getting set up we've got two setups we're gonna be chucking out we've got some absolutely beautiful baits we'll get into that in a minute let's just get our stuff set up and start getting some baits in the water <laughs> I'm sure that we'll find some fish tonight. We've got a whole heap of stuff that we want to do tonight. We're going to get a fire going. We're going to have a nice cook up. Got some beautiful tuna steaks that I want to cook up. Some sashimi and we've got some bait. Some beautiful bait that I've caught down at Portland and Port McDonald. So what we've got is a whole heap of fresh mackerel, fresh squid. And we're actually going to be burlying up today as well, which I've got some tuna frames. That'll be getting a beautiful oil slick going out and hopefully bring us in some big fish. Once again, if you are enjoying these videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and leave me a comment to let me know what you thought of this video and where you want to see me next. Let's get some baits in the water. Okay, let's get the two rod holders out. This is some of my favorite parts of the fishing, getting set up for the unknown. We truly have no idea what we're going to be hooking into today. As you can see here, there's a beautiful gutter just in front of us and a nice patch there of still water. So there should be a hole just there. And I cannot stress the importance of this. I wish I did more of it when I first started out. It's just taking my time to scan the beach, drive up and down, walk up and down, waste some time at the start not fishing to make your fishing experience better for the night. But even if you've only got two hours to fish, you're better off spending half an hour looking rather than just chucking a rod in the water and praying because I know that I've done that very, very much. Let's catch a fish. And that wheel, baby. I'd assume that these are pretty good eating. Mackerel of any sort is usually pretty good. Okay, bait wise, presentation. I think I want the hook coming out just at the bottom here. Just poke that circle just inside and back out and always make sure there's no scales on that. It definitely will slip you up. High tide is in about two and a half hours, and then we've got another high tide at about 1 a.m. So we've got plenty of fishing time. That's the first bait going out. Beautiful fillet of mackerel. Absolutely fresh as anything. If there is something out there, it will go for that. Two beautiful baits. Just got to convert these into fish. I think that we will. Look at that lovely blue water there. Conditions aren't always ideal when you're fishing. Just gotta get out there. That's exactly what we're doing. We've got all the current going this way, so the burley goes right over there. That'll wash out in front, hopefully. It'll be burlying up and getting some scent into that gutter just there. I think why not when you're beach fishing, if you can figure out what way the current is going, it's definitely giving me some better fishing sessions. Get some beautiful fillets off of that. Secret weapon going on. Surf popper tonight. Gonna chuck out a couple of these next to the baits to see how they go. Put a tiny slither of bait on it or something. Just to see, put a bit of scent on it. See if we can get something's attention. Right, this bait is going to be a big one.
nice big strip of cooter on the top bait. And what we'll do is cut off another strip, split that in half, have that on the smaller hooks. Big bait and a small bait. Looking wild out there today. <laughs> High tide is rolling in. Right out the back. Won't be doing that later on. Alrighty, well, I'm hungry. I think on the menu. What's next? Well, I've got some beautiful bluefin tuna, so I'm just gonna chuck a little bit of oil in that pan and then just fry up a couple slabs of bluefin. Ah, look at that beautiful meat, incredible stuff. Cut them in half, just chuck them straight in there. Absolutely beautiful. No veg, don't need it, it's starving. It's a little bit of a slog at the minute, that wind is playing havoc. And the sea is getting very, very rough. Definitely rougher than what the forecast said this morning, but at least we've got some beautiful, beautiful tuna. Exactly how I like it in the middle, nice and pink, beautiful. Just got the GoPro on charge at the minute, so that's usually when the rods start going off. And I'm eating as well. Well, I thought my GoPro was on. That's number one on the board. Not legal, but I'm not even going to measure it, around about 65, 69. Beautiful, beautiful fish, but still not quite that legal. That's a good sign though, we're on the board, yes! Woohoohoo! Give it a swim, mate. Go. Yes! Fish number one! I was having doubts, started getting self-doubt. Today if we get one before dark, good night, so fingers crossed. I'm gonna refresh that water down there. So I've got a bucket of fresh water and let's get a fresh bait back out. Yes. Fresh water there. Let's get back out of that wind. That's definitely a start. That's a run out tide. It's about an hour and a half after high tide at the minute. So it's just on the run out still. There's still a massive amount of swell out there. Stupid amount of wind blowing. There's 30 kilometer an hour gusts going on at the minute. But we've had some food, we've had a bite and we've landed one soapy, which is pretty bloody good. And fingers crossed guys, the next time that rod goes off, it'll be something bigger. Or just another fish I'm quite happy with. Okay, nice fresh bit of soury. Some big hooks exposed out the back. If that wind dies off just a little bit more, it'd be bloody beautiful down here. I can't get this to the back of that gutter. Out there, so that's just on the edge. So where that back gutter rolls back over, that should be sitting on the inside where we want it. Might be time to get the lights on. Traps are set. Now we wait. Let's get a fire going I reckon. 
that's two pieces of salary out now and i think we're gonna get a fire going i'm gonna dig a couple of holes for a dakota fire i've never actually done one of these before just straight down and then the idea is that you dig a second hole just here and then the wind that's coming underneath the car pushes in and just keeps the fly fire going and pushes the heat up and then you can sit close to the fire and you're not having ash running everywhere that's the theory anyway no idea if i'm doing it right i'm no survival person and then this second hole you have to push through that way and then it fires in there air comes through there so basically just got to keep digging like so just double check in the areas that you're doing this that you are allowed to do it but best way that you can get kindling from grass like this is just keep your fingers open and just rake through it really lightly and it just picks up all the dead stuff We have fire. Once all that grass burns off, that should burn nice. I think we're gonna chuck out two new baits because that is getting close to sunset. Yeah, buddy, living the dream. Wait for one of them rods to go off. Let's go. Arr, arr, arr. Let's get some fresh bait out. I think we'll go salaries again. Just cut the heads off. Fire's roaring now, beauty. I don't have any bugs around me as well. I'll punch this right out the back with that gutter. Hopefully you'll find one. Beautiful. Look at that, living the dream. Living the dream, mate. Love it. <sighs> Beautiful. Two fresh bits of salary. Spot on fishing. Keeping me bright at night. Come on, I want to see these bouncing later on. Oh! We've got bites, yes! <laughs> I just saw that as I turned around, as soon as I put that thing on. That's another little soapy. It's not uh, not quite legal. Definitely not. But it's the start, lads. That's number two. As soon as that sun sets, we've got some beautiful bait still to put out. Cannot wait to put some of them slimy max on. Pretty sure this is a little little mile away. I think it is. Whoa! Some nice little head shakes there. Beautiful. Oh! Oh! 
This might be my legal. Oh, this could be it. Please, please say it is. Please say it is. What a fatty. What a beautiful fish. I've got the bragmat out. It's already out. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. My first legal. Yes. Come on. Come on. What a light bite as well. Yes. Yes. Oh man, I've been waiting so long for that. Oh, what a fish. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come on. My first legal. Just about 87 on the dot. Yes. I'm there. Uh, I'm going to get the release. I think this should release. If it doesn't, I'll keep it, but this should release. Yes. No, actually, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna put it out of its misery. Perfectly legal, perfectly fine to keep a fish that's legal size. And it's not actually kicking that much, so I'm keeping it. Let's go and get some fresh baits out. Yes. Alrighty, well, two new bits of bait. These are going out. Camera needs to go on charge. 50-50 on whether I wanted to release or keep this one because it's my first legal um, but to, to keep my first legal I was obviously going to take more time with it and a lot of people would if they're catch and release uh, I do my best to put as many fish back as possible what a fish I'm absolutely buzzing with that what a beauty that big tail Big yellow mouth, you would not want to be a mullet seeing that coming towards you. What a stunner. Cannot wait to make the most out of this fish as well. Fill it up, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to eat it. I'm absolutely buzzing. <laughs> yes! That rod just went off nicely. A couple of big head shakes. And it actually took a little bit of line. The drag isn't up super tight, so maybe some seaweed on it now or something. There you go, a few head shakes there. I'm actually knackered from mucking about so much. Doesn't look like a bad one. Whoa, looks like a good one. Here's another good one. <laughs> oh, it's another beauty. Oh my days. Right, quick as possible with this one. Whoa. Alright, oh, it's nice and strong. Alright, oh, it's another 87. Another 87. I'm gonna be very, very quick. Another 87. <laughs> yes, mate. This is going straight back in. Another 87, catch and release. Beauty, yes. Come on, mate, I'm getting you back in. Oh, where is it? There it is. It's kicking. Oh, it's kicking loads. Come on, mate, kick off. Kick off. Oh. All right, definitely swim. Had a lot of power left in it. Beautiful. Yes. Just double check it's not up here somewhere. Awesome. Yes. How good, how good. Two, two legals, buzzing. One kept, one released. Now I'm happy that I kept that one because I've got to release exactly the same size. That one was actually a little bit fatter, felt a bit heavier, kicked off nice and strong. Yes, it just rolled a bit where the water rushed out, but that definitely, that definitely released all right. I'm buzzing, I'm absolutely buzzing. Yes, 
If you have watched this far through, absolute legend. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm absolutely loving this, man. Moving to Australia, best decision of my life. I love it. I'm a little bit hungry. So I'm just gonna have a, whoa. So I'm gonna have a little bit more tuna. A little bit of honey soy on there. And I will just eat them straight like that. A little late night snack. Nice and red in the middle. Absolutely beauty. Let's go check them baits. Alrighty, well, this is me calling it a night. Absolutely epic. Got my first legal mull away. I am buzzing with that. Yes, see you in the morning. I'm going to bed. Good morning. Time to get some baits out. It's low tide. Well, there's one hour until low tide. Very, very low. Get some baits out, have some breakfast, get the drone up. Maybe. Maybe find ourselves a fish this morning. That'd be nice. Two legal mile away. Yes. Yes. Finally. Let's get up. Let's get up. Let's do it. Let's get this first big bait out. Not that we can actually see where we're going. Might be able to have a squeeze how big these gutters are. Beautiful. Absolutely buzzing with that. My first legal keeper. I'm gonna cook up a little bit of this this morning. We'll have a little bit for breakfast, I think. 24 hour solo catch and cook. Absolutely love it. Yes, this has been on ice all night. Meat is nice and firm now, so it should be really nice to fill it up. Absolutely beautiful. Let's make ourselves a tea. We'll have some breakfast. I think we're getting bites. Might just be a salmon or something. We have got a salmon corn. I'm not sure, maybe a little mull away. Oh, it's an elephant again. I was gonna say, I'll chuck out some small baits. What a beautiful little fish these are. Funny looking little things. This is definitely gonna go back in this one. I won't keep this. I've got that nice, nice mull away to eat now. So this is way more than I'll be needing. But what a stunning little fish. Crazy, crazy nose on them. Look at that. If anyone hasn't seen one of these before, this is called an elephant fish. I caught my first one the other week. I'll drop that video above. Look at that crazy mouth on them. Absolutely beautiful animal. Look at that crazy face. Let's get this straight back in. Come on, mate, give us a kick. Give us a kick, yep. Woo! At least we're getting something in the morning. That's sick. I think what I'll do is I'll get that second rod out with two small hooks on it. We'll chuck out some small baits, see if there's any more of them guys about. Also, some salmon maybe. But we'll just get this squid back out for the minute. All right, let's fill it up this fish. What a beautiful fish. I could not be happier.
Beautiful. Just cut all them bones out. Nice slab of meat. Fill it up in a minute. Let's do the other side. Two slabs. I've absolutely butchered that. That second one I always find more difficult. If anyone's got any tips on that, apart from a bigger knife. Butchered, a couple of nice fillets off of that. And this in here, this is its head inside there in the jewels. So I'm gonna keep these, my first ever legal mull away. What incredible little pieces they are. Yes, I've got this one. I'm gonna have a spit of this this morning and then the rest of this will be getting taken home. Beautiful. Mulloway stir fry, beautiful. This is going to be my first time eating Mulloway as well, so I'm looking forward to it. I didn't want to try any until I caught one myself. How good does that look? Absolutely banging. I am looking forward to trying this. I'm going to cut that there. Thanks for watching again, guys. 24 hours solo mission for my first legal mull away and it happened for us. Two mull away landed, elephant fish this morning. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Please don't forget to leave a like. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this now. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.